So what are the professional police principles that we have? So we have 10. The first is prevention of crime and disorder. Number two, cooperation of the community. Three, unreasonable force reduces community cooperation. Four, use of reasonable force when persuasion is not sufficient. Five, impartial enforcement of laws. Six, the community or the police. Seven, police should not usurp judicial powers. Eight, rules of engagement impartially observe and nine reduction of crime and dishonor and the last one is the police discretion first is prevention of crime and disorder this is the basic mission of the police uh, anyway guys this is just a review we have been talking about this for a month now but kailangan ng talaga natin na um, ipasok sa isipan natin na ito yung pinaka basic talaga this should be registered in our mind that the basic mission of the police is to prevent crime and disorder so as alternative to the repression of crime and disorder by police force and severity of legal punishment so mas mas preferable sa atin po yung pag-prevent uh, ng isang krimen na mangyayari at isang kaguluhan kaysa sa pagpapataw ng parusa sa mga nagkasala sa batas. Next is cooperation of the community. The police must secure the willing cooperation in the voluntary observance of the law. To be able to secure and maintain the respect and support of the community. Now, this is according to Sir Edward Peel, if you still remember, on his principles of policing, code of conduct. The willing cooperation is very important for you to be able to, to maintain the respect at support ng mga tao sa komunidad mo. The ability of the police to perform their duties is dependent upon community support of police existence, action, behavior, and the ability of the police to secure and maintain community and respect. Unreasonable force reduce community cooperation. A police officer will never employ a necessary force or violence and will not use or will use only such force in the discharge of duty as an as in reasonable in all circumstances. Gagamitin lang natin yung yung pagpupuwersa kung ito ay karapat tapat at kinakailangan. The force should be used only when the greatest restraint and only after discussion, negotiation, and persuasion have been found to be inappropriate or ineffective. While the use of force occasionally unavailable, every police officer will refrain from applying an unnecessary inflation of pain or suffering and will never engage in cruel, degrading, or inhuman treatment of any person. Although, minsan pa minsan-minsan kailangan natin gagamitin yung dahas or yung force sa pag -e implement ng isang batas as much as possible. As much as possible, gamitin lang ito o gagamitin lang yung katamtaman o yung kakailangan lang na force. Kung baga, bawal, bawal, bawal po sa mga polis natin ang mag-engage sa cruel degrading or inhuman treatment ng mga tao. So, ano ba yung mga circumstances bago mo gamitin ang force ito? It only be needed with the greatest restraint and only after number one, discussion number two, negotiation and number three, persuasion. Pag inappropriate ang tatlong ito nag-discuss kayo together with the suspect 
you negotiate with the suspect and then you persuade kinumbinsin mo ang suspect na sumurinder, for example, tapos hindi pa rin, wala pa rin effect, then, reasonable force is deemed warranted. Use of reasonable force when persuasion is not sufficient, the police should use reasonable force to the extent necessary to secure observance of the law or to restore order only when the exercise of persuasion advice. Yun, nag-usapan niya kanina. And no violence or unnecessary force shall be subjected to any greater restraint than, in, than is necessary for the detention of the suspect. So, yung kailang, kailang force na gagamitin only to restrain para lang isecure para lang i-disable disable in the sense na hindi na siya makakapaglaban hindi yung disable na puputulan mo ng kamay o disable na puputulan mo ng paa disable lang to the extent na i-detain ang isang suspect Impartial enforcement of laws. The police seek and reserve community favor not by catering to community opinion but constantly demonstrating absolute impartial enforcement of laws without regard to justice and injustice of the substance of particular laws. And B. Impartial enforcement of laws on all individual member of the society without regards to their race or social standing. So, klaro naman yan. So, we do not favor or cater community opinion, but we demonstrate absolute impartial enforcement of laws. And of course, we do not choose, we do not choose whom we enforce the law. No? Whether, whatever the race or the social standing of a person, the enforcement of the law should be equally implemented to all. The community or the police. Ang mga police natin should maintain relationship with the community na nagbibigay reality. This is reality. I'm sorry for this uh, uh, clerical error here. Na nagbibigay realidad sa historic tradition na ang police natin ang, ang, ang police natin ay ang komunidad at ang Komunidad natin ay ang mga polis. Ang ating mga polis lamang po ay binabayaran para magmintina to maintain peace and order na incumbent sa lahat ng tao. Bakit ikaw ba, civilian? Are you not concerned of your safety? Are you not concerned of your well-being? Nagdalakad ka, pauwi ng bahay, ganing school, Hindi ka ba kinakabahan pag dumadaan ka sa mga lugar na ma madidilim? Di ba? Siyempre, kakabahan ka. Siyempre, mag-aalinlangan ka. Because you are concerned of the safety of your well-being. So, yun din ang iniisip ng mga kapulisan natin. In any sense, all of us, it is our concern, it is everybody's concern, Safety and security is paramount. Safety and security is everybody's concern. Kumbaga. So, police, we, we have to police ourselves. We have to police ourselves. We have to prevent crime to happen to ourselves and to our family. That is practicing policing. And in that way, we become police on our own. So, ito yung realidad ng tradisyon na ang polis ay, ay, ay ang komunidad at ang komunidad ay ang mga polis. Police should not usurp judicial powers, of course. Huwag mong ilagay sa kamay mo ang batas. It is not your duty to punish offenders. It is not your duty to punish guilty people or guilty criminals or criminals rather hindi mo trabaho yan trabaho yan ng judiciary now, if you talk about punishment, rehabilitation trabaho yan ng correction system natin 
So, ang trabaho mo lang is to prevent crime to happen. And if ever, unfortunately, mayroong krimen na nangyari, it is your job to investigate, it is your job to bring the suspect to the court for legal process. Doon lang. Doon lang ang trabaho mo. No? Never usurp judicial powers. Reduction of crime and disorder. The test of the police efficiency is the reduction of crime and disorder. Yan ang pinag-uusapan natin. Kahit ka ano karami yung yung arrest uh, statistics ng police station, kahit gaano karami yung nare-record ng isang police station na na complaints in a day, hindi pa rin siya mananalo doon sa isang police station na walang or limitado or hindi ganun karami ang nare-record na krimen sa isang araw. Kung titignan mo, mas effective yung kanilang prevention plans, yung kanilang proactive police management kaysa doon sa isa na statistically statistically mataas yung kanilang rate. Reduction of crime and disorder. So, ang efficiency ng isang bureau, ng isang police station, for example, can only be rated on the number of cases, on the number of complaints, on the number of occurrences, crime occurrences within this area of responsibility. Rules of Enforcement Rule of enforcement and partially observed. Policemen engaged in anti-crime operation must always consider the safety and security of who might be caught in the crossfire or arms encounter. The use of force, including firearms, is justifiable only by virtue of the doctrine of self-defense and defense of a stranger. Nobody, including the policemen and other law enforcement authorities, is above the law. The use of force, especially firearms, should be applied only as a last resort when all other peaceful and violent means has been exhausted. The use of force, especially firearms, should be confined to only the, the lawless elements and responding police unit. It is inherent in the police service in which the profession, the armaments, and safety of life of every member of the PNP is dedicated to the protection and safety of the people. Don't forget on this. Um, Engagement ng ating mga police sa uh, anti-crime operation, kailangan i-consider mo yung safety ng lahat ng participants na nandyan. Not only the bystanders, not only the community itself, but also the safety of all participants, the police and the suspects alike. Kaya nga, as much as possible, walang mangyayaring um, wala mangyayaring bakbakan kailangan gagamitin lahat ng ng teknik lahat ng ways to pers to persuade to to negotiate para walang wala mangyaring um crossfire if ever may 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 mangyayaring na uh, madugong bakbakan kailangan safety of all concern must be paramount as much as possible, nakalagay dyan, eh, the, the use of force should be confined only to the lawless elements and the police. Huwag mo nang isali yung mga civilian people. And never, never forget that justifiable lang ang paggamit ng dahas, ang paggamit ng force by virtue of the doctrine of self-defense, ang pagdepensa sa sarili at ang, at ang pagdepensa sa, sa stranger. Nobody, wala. Kahit ang police, hindi pwedeng maging mas mataas pa sa batas. Police use of discretion. A police officer will use responsible discretion vested in a position and exercise it within the law. The principle of personableness will guide the officer's determination and the officer 
will consider all surrounding circumstances whether any legal action shall be taken. Consistent and wise use of discretion based on professional policing competence will do much to preserve good relationship and retain the confidence of the public. There can be difficulty in choosing between conflicting courses of action. It is important to remember that the timely word of advice rather than an arrest which may be correct in appropriate circumstances can be more effective means of achieving a desired goal. So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng police discretion? Ito yung paggamit ng ating kapulisan sa kanilang judgment. Wise use of one's judgment. It is discretion literally means wise use of one's judgment. So, in a particular situation, gagamitin ng ating mga police ang kanilang discretion. Napaka-sensitibo ng topic na to at minsan ang paggamit ng discretion ay nauwi sa sa problema ng ating mga pulis at minsan naman ito ay nagbibigay ng success sa operation. Si for example, may nakita kang grupo ng mga kabataan na tipong may gagawing masama. In fact, parang parang meron talaga silang gagawing masama. Tumatambay-tambay sila sa isang subdivision, tapos yung isa pasilip-silip dun sa isang malaking bahay. So, what are you going to do in the use of your discretion? So, pwede mo, pwede mo silang hulihin. Pwede mo silang hulihin in the sense na may, may nasa-sense ka na, na kabulastugan, na, na iniisip ng mga to. And of course, they do not belong there. Bakit sila nandyan? Ano bang gagawin nilang iba? If they are not construction workers, if they are not uh, living in the area, bakit sila nandyan? So, do you have, you have justification to to detain these people for questioning? Because you sense that meron silang gagawing masama in that area. But, by use of discretion, pili mo, pili mo silang, for example, your, your mere presence magpakita ka sa kanila. Let them know that you are a police officer. Diba? And that would deter these people in committing an offense. Or, you can approach them and ask, ask them questions, um, ask them questions with, uh, with respect. No? Courtesy. Ano bang, uh, good morning po, good morning sa inyo, bakit po kayo nandito? Ano po bang kailangan nyo dito? Ako nga pala si Patrolman Cruz. Just by doing that, you are using discretion and it may be a correct appropriate circumstances. The, 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 technique, the, the technique that you employed may be correct and appropriate circumstances which is more effectively or more effective means of achieving a desired goal. Ano bang goal mo? to prevent crime to happen. Or you can arrest all of them. Arrest all of them on the spot. Conduct body fresh. And bring all of them to the police station for further questioning. Pwede mo naman gawin yun. But sometimes, ang pag effort mo ay mauwi lang sa further um, issues and complain. So, you use discretion. You use discretion. See, for example, another example yung nangyari doon sa Metro Manila, yung isang sospek na meron palang problema sa pag-iisip, yung dating, dating sundalo na binaril ng polis. So, saan doon ang discretion? Discretion doon is um, sinitan niya kasi hindi nag hindi siya nag uh, nag uh, subject himself to body frisking and all to the security protocol conducted by the police sinta niya yung yung sundalo na yon but nagkamali siya sa paggamit ng discretion niya na instead of just disabling the person containing the person restraining the person not to not necessarily shoot the person he does 
shoot the person and in fact fatally fatally wounded the person so merong 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 judgment doon lapse of judgment na nangyari doon sa police natin now, what happens kulong tanggal sa serbisyo so if you notice guys napaka sensitive ng discretion ng police discretion so I cannot tell you what to do in every case or in every scenario that you will have in the future but it will be yours to decide just use wise judgment